Welcome Leo, I'm Tanya and I help you navigate your life with tarot cards. Today I'm going to do your 2022 tarot reading. In January you've got the King of Cups. So here is a person coming into your life who might be a little bit older than you, a person who is very mature, a person who might be at least more than 40 years old, I would say, if not older, like 50, 60. And this person is very warm hearted, maybe an artist, a healer, someone who is really on your side, somebody very empathic, somebody with a great heart, you know, somebody you can turn to when you have a problem. So this is a very, very helpful energy to have in January. In February, you've got something to celebrate with the Four of Wands, Four of Wands. First of all, it's a card for you Leo because the wands are standing for fire energy so that's very good for you. Secondly this card always gives a reason to celebrate either somebody's accepted as a, at a university or maybe you get a job or maybe somebody's getting married somebody could you know this is the happy home card somebody could just have um a, you know some kind of anniversary baby showers this is a reason to party you know and everything is all right in your home and relationship environment in march you have the libra major arcana this is a very powerful energy this is the justice card so with the justice card some things can be made right which were wrong in the past this is an, an energy of fairness which is happening here. So truth is coming to light in March and you know all truths are coming to light both of you and of everybody else involved yeah so and, and something important is coming to light and, and information is coming out that will help you have a, a better feeling of fairness here you know it, you will feel very delighted to hear this yeah um, also, it could mean that you're weighing your options because with the Libra Major Arcana, we're sometimes weighing one thing against the other. Uh, in April, you have the Virgo Major Arcana, the Hermit card. This is about not only, you know, the, the regular meaning of this card is that you go into solitude in order to get clear about something, to really get in-depth information, to understand all the whys and hows of a situation. But also, you know, this guy has his own little lamp here, or this woman, and this means you have your own light. You shine your own light from within. You don't need anyone on the outside. You're perfectly fine with your own light shining from within. From within. In May you have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is a helper rushing in um, who is very, you know, it gives you the energy of being very determined, very focused. If you have any work projects to do, this is a very good energy to have here in May. And also it could come in the form of a person. If it's a person, then it could be someone who is rushing in to help, you know, the hero energy, like um, a firefighter, a policeman, whatever it is. Yeah, you could have such a person around you. Or this energy can help you cut out something from your life which is no longer needed. Any form of situation or relationship that is no longer for your highest good can leave with this energy. In June, you've got the King of Pentacles. So you either meet somebody or you are somebody who is very well situated with his money, with his wealth. This is someone, mostly it's it's a person who is male. It's, um, it's somebody who's also older, just like we had in January with the King of Cups. These are people who are mature, yeah, mature energies. So it, they don't have to be older, you know, like 50, 60, 70 years old, but they can also be very mature in their energy. Sometimes very young people can be super mature, right? So so this is somebody who already is a made man. This person has no troubles with money whatsoever. They have, um, you know, a pillow of money on the side. So this is somebody who's gonna um, help you and who might give you a coin or two to uh, really boost or support your personal life. Yeah. Or maybe it's just someone who will invite you for a nice dinner or something. Um, in July, we've got the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is an energy that can help you be really, really elo eloquent when it comes to 
any form of negotiations. If you have to negotiate a contract, if you have any hard discussions, let's say maybe you're a lawyer and you have uh, very hard discussions with the opponent, then this would help you in July, this energy here of the Queen of Swords, to find the right words at the right time. If you're a book author, this is the wordsmith card, so you will find the right words, you will not lack any creativity concerning um, any form of communication, um, you will be very good at finding the words even in other languages which are not your mother tongue, so this is really good. In August, you're definitely charging for a new project because um, here we've got the Knight of Wands. So again, Wands energy is very good for you, Leo, because it's boosting your power that you naturally have. It's boosting your creativity, your ability to shine. And with this, you're charging for something new. You have a new project going on where you really want to, you know, bring something out. You want to bring something into the world and you're going to be very enthusiastic enthusiastic and optimistic about it yeah and it's gonna be fruitful so beautiful energy here for August for your birth month um, if you're not born in July yeah in September you've got the two of swords with the two of swords we often stand at a crossroads point so we have to make a decision one way or the other way and in this case it's not going to be an easy decision for you why because you first of all you can see it's night in that scene and the moon is shining in the background so night scenes are always meaning something is in the dark something is not quite clear so she has her eyes covered so she doesn't really see if I choose this one way or the other what will be the consequence and it's really hard to make a decision when you don't know the consequence right but you have to trust to your 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 gut feeling in this case because if your eyes are covered then you just have to trust your gut about this yeah use your other senses maybe go into meditation get answers from spirit like I do with tarot cards so it's really um, your time to to listen to your intuition here because otherwise you can't make this decision in September in October we've got the the Ten of Swords. So with the Ten of Swords, don't be afraid of this card. It just means that it's the end of suffering because this person here who has been stabbed is already in heaven, okay? They're not here anymore, which means now they can finally have a rest and that is exactly what it means for your life. It doesn't mean you die. It means you get finally a time to rest. You can finally catch a break and you really, really deserved it with the Ten of Swords, okay? So in October, this is your card and I was asking another deck, why is the Ten of Swords here? What does it mean? What is it all about? And it gave me the Four of Swords, which is really fitting perfectly to it because the Four of Swords is a card of healing, rest and recuperation. So <laughs> um, it's, it's actually really perfect that in October you have the Ten of Swords because it means it's the end of suffering and finally you can rest, you know, finally you get a break. In November, You've got the Cancer Major Arcana. This is the Chariot. This is a wonderful energy to have. It's, it's talking about power, luck, uh, velocity, speed, travel, traveling the world, moving to other places, moving houses. This can be so much, but it's, it's for the better. Yeah, it's not, no change for, for the worse. It's a change for the better. So with the chariot card, you finally feel back in the saddle again. You feel you're back in charge of your life, back in control. You have power. You're a force to be reckoned with. So November is an extremely good month for you here with the Cancer energy. And in December, you will probably already think of the year 2023. Why? Because I can see here a card with a young boy, the page of swords, looking right into the future, you know, into the direction of the future. So this young boy, this page of swords, he is bringing you good, um, another, this is another month for good um, negotiations. So the swords are always about finding the right words, communicating, also thinking, you know, being a lot in your head. And this boy, this has an energy of enthusiasm, optimism, and he's looking into the future. He wants to start something new. He's curious about it, you know, just like a little bit like the Knight of Wands that we had here. That's a little 
little bit the adventure card, the Ad Indiana Jones card. And here with the Page of Swords, you're really interested into something new. You investigate a new situation. Maybe you take a few books and you want to learn. And this card can also mean that you're headhunted, that someone is looking at you and following what you do and, and saying, yeah, this is actually the person we want to talk to, you know, some HR agent or something. So I can see that this is going to be a really good year for you, 2022. It's not going to be all lovey-dovey, only flowers and roses and sunshine, because we have the Ten of Swords here in October, so you will definitely also go through some challenges. But at least you can say uh, in October these challenges are definitely over and in November you will be your wonderful, powerful self again here with the Chariot card. This is actually the best card that you have here. Um, also, I like the Justice card in March. This is amazing that you uh, get some fairness here and, and some things will come to light. So I think that's actually a good year for us Leos in 2022. If you like this reading, leave me a like below and let me know in the comments how it resonated for you. If you want to subscribe to my channel, then please don't forget to also click the little bell button and click all so that you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Have a good day. I see you soon. Bye guys.